Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Deck and Around Deck Specs. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Hinode deck by Mike McClure and Kyle McIntosh. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So the Hinode deck is an unspecified print run on premium crushed stock printed by USPCC. The tuck is the Japanese rising sun, which is what Hinode means. It's a sign of good fortune and luck. A very simple tuck box. Otherwise, uh, the printed print information is on the bottom of the box. You see the Hinode title on the front and some Japanese script on the top. There's also a seven of spades reveal on the tuck flaps, which is really neat. Uh, Kyle being a magician obviously added some little touches here and there where he could. The back design is absolutely beautiful, fans spectacularly, and from what you'd expect with premium crushed stock, it really feels great. The two jokers are identical, but absolutely awesome artwork on them. A really uh, nicely done ace of spades that matches the back design. And otherwise, pretty much standard chords throughout. But the Japanese styling on the back and the jokers and the ace of spades really are so well done throughout the deck. They look beautiful. They really add that nice little touch to it. But again, being a magic-oriented uh, deck, this is obviously going to have standard course to kind of avoid any uh, audience suspicion. Yeah, I, I like the, you know, the jokers with the feet. The uh, almost filled Enzo yeah. around the Yeah, no, it really, it's a nicely designed deck. It's got a double backer there, as well as a duplicate jack of clubs for a gaff card. It really is just a simple but beautiful deck. And again, that fan is just spectacular looking. It really is a good looking deck, though. Just looks spectacular there. Hey, um, one, one thing I do got to give you credit for is... Uh... We don't see that screw on the desk anymore. I'm a pretty big fan of that. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes it happens. I had to I had to upgrade my setup there so there was no longer a screw on my workbench. Instead, there's a faux leather white background. I've cleaned it up a little yeah, bit. That works. Next step, that better works. lighting. <laughs> but if anyone's looking for a good, simple, but visually appealing deck for Magic, this is definitely a deck you want to get your hands on. The Hinode deck sure. feels great with that premium crushed stock from USPCC. <laughs> And again, like standard courts, but a beautiful back design. It's something that's eye catching, but it's not going to make a uh, a spectator suspicious necessarily. So can't go wrong with a Hinode deck here. Right on. Yeah. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notifications on any of those future deck specs we drop every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you so much. Peace.